I see why Harley Harley riders are kind of like full of themselves like holy crap I wouldn't believe what I am about to not really do a review on but oh I can't get the feel of this bike but um it's a 2020 Harley Dyna and let me tell y'all this feel is extremely different so what I gathered is that this is a 2020 Harley Dyna and the retail price of this is about twenty to twenty-three thousand dollars. Now, again, like I said, I don't know too much about these bikes. Uh, oh! Besides uh, the uh, Sportster that I rode, and those are like the most that I know about those about the Harleys. I haven't really like ever gauged or had any interest in any of these models I'm not even gonna lie so this is pretty interesting for me to be here within these demos and and learn this so this this feel is entirely different look at this i'm still on my tiptoes but this bike is honestly beautiful i'm not even gonna lie or hold it like or hold nobody but the how far up ahead this is like it's a it's a different feel for the bike as a whole, especially if you're coming off a sport bike, it definitely takes some some time to get used to. This is an upright bike, so your long distances are gonna be much more comfortable on a Harley style bike. But I, I like the um look of this one because it's uh, aggressive. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I can't I can't find neutral on this bike. And me back there trying to figure it out, I fucking stole this bike out. I was saying I stole back there. Yeah, I stole it. I was back there. Oh, back there. Yeah. I'm over here talking to the camera. I'm like, man, this is weird. Like, to have to just um, keep your feet up forward opposed to just straight up. It's, it's a totally different feel. I know it has ABS. I know it has cruise control. I know you got uh, hazard lights on these bikes. Um, I'm pretty sure it's much more. But like, look how much forward my feet sit up on this bike. Ah. Oh, this thing pack a mean punch to it. Y'all, my next bike might be a Harley. This has a stock exhaust on it. It sounds pretty decent for it to be stock, but I definitely prefer <laughs> my feet to be a little bit more upright because like I said, coming off a sport bike, is gonna take some getting used to. So comfortability already, I'll jump into that. Um, This seat is comfy as heck. Remember when I did a review on the Yamaha Bolt and I said it feels like the uh, the seat grips your butt? Well, it's the same here, but it's so comfortable. By the way, guys, I've never been on a demo ride before, so this is my first ever demo ride, especially at Harley-Davidson. So thank you, Harley-Davidson, for putting this on for the community and for taking your time out to provide free food, drinks, and taking donations to make sure we are fully satisfied as potential customers. And to mention this video is not sponsored. I see why Harley, Harley riders are kind of like full of themselves. Like, holy crap. Sorry if that came off that y'all, but man, this is a whole different beast. 
love the color scheme of this bike though. I really do. I always say that black, white, and red is typically my go-to color scheme, but this matte green and black, gorgeous. Look at Tay Baby over there trying her little Harley. That thing look heavy, not even gonna lie. Like this bar right here, it just, it hits different. Okay, she getting a feel for hers. I see you, Tay. One thing I'd be scared of on these bikes is to get burnt by the exhaust. Uh-oh, got a little vibration to it. I was gonna say I don't know how fast I'm going, but your speed is on this little tachometer right here. Or speedometer. Oh, okay, so your vibration's a little bit more when you definitely should be shifting. Duh. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. I don't know if I want to talk to you guys about the bike or the fact that I'm actually at a demo day. It's super um, organized though. They got road captains, two in the front, two in the back. Uh, they make you sign waivers prior to even testing this out. And the good part about it is that um, you look at the bikes and you get to determine which one you want to ride. Who is picture the voice behind the helmet? on a freaking Harley. This is nice though. This is nice. It's like, oh, how fast am I going? And you look up and you have to look down and then look up. I mean, it's a quick second, but you know a lot can happen. Oh, this shows you a gear you're in though. Y'all enjoying it? Yeah, this is awesome. This is definitely awesome. And if you haven't ever been to a demo day, get yourself out there to the community or to your local shops, figure out who's putting one on and get out there and get this experience. Just so y'all know, I still can't find neutral on this bike. Let's hear how this horn sound. <laughs> okay, got us a little something something there. It's just that like the clearance between the mirrors and your hands is not that far off. I really like this bike that this guy is on and the color scheme it's loud but it's gorgeous like it gives it such a nice pop like look, look how comfortable he looks on it just sitting there just cruise and just and those bikes sit a little bit lower this one's a little bit higher but as you can see like just look at him just chilling man the guys in back of us like he, he just told me like yo you gotta try this one the bike that he's on, it sits low as well. Like I said, I don't know too much about Harleys, but... Can y'all believe this bike weighs 668 pounds? That's like quadruple of what I weigh. Harley riders, y'all are definitely in the league of y'all own. Even though y'all still slow. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't be me if I didn't talk a little junk. This thing packs a main punch. I don't, I don't know... This is a 114, I believe. Harley Dyna 114. I could do this all day. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Of course. As always. Until next time, guys.